Uh, we're having a good year. Um, you know, still a long way to go. Uh, we've had a good, uh, good winter. All, all the men and women at McLaren have done a, a really good job, produced a good car, and our drivers are doing uh, really well. So uh, we're just about at the halfway mark. Uh, sitting fourth in the championship, which I think is about uh, as much as we could hope for at this point. But uh, still a lot of racing to go, so we need to make sure we uh, continue to stay strong. We've already discussed that best of the rest tag when you've got the big three teams out in front. How proud are you of what your team are doing, bearing in mind you know where you, what you're up against? Yeah, I think uh, given where we've, we've been the last few years, I'm very proud of uh, all the great work everyone on the team is, is doing. Uh, you know, we've won 20 championships, so uh, fourth is not uh, where we want to be long term, but it's, you know, certainly progress from where we were last year and the last few years. So, uh, you know, we're on this, this road to recovery. You're not going to uh, go from where we were last year, six in the championship to first overnight. It's going to be about incremental gains, and, and we're making those, so we just need to uh, keep our head down and uh, keep focused. One of the big positive gains that you've made this year is the driver lineup that you've got. You've got Landon Norris and Carlos Sainz. They've been working together very well. They're, they seem to have a very good relationship. How pleased are you with the way that they work together and, and so much as you've already announced that you've retained them for next year as well? Yeah, I'm really happy with our driver lineup. Carlos and Lando are doing an outstanding job. They're, they're driving for the team, they get along very well. And uh, most importantly, they're both very fast. So, uh, you know, our partners uh, really enjoy them. They're media friendly. So they're you know, both kind of the, the complete package, if you'd like. And, uh, you know, we're head down. We're very focused. The silly season is starting now. I think some drivers are going to move around. There's some teams that um, have one strong driver and one who's a bit weaker. And we just want to do uh, let everyone know we're focused. We have our plan. Our drivers are off limits. And uh, so just happy to get that out of the way. And the very reason why we're here at Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix, and we now know that's going to be its home until 2024. What was your reaction to that? And, and, and how pleased are you that that's now settled and put to bed now we can finish discussing well, it? I think it's, it's great news. Uh, you know, the British Grand Prix along with uh, the Italian Grand Prix and then in Monaco, you know, those are some of the most historical uh, venues, uh, which are important to the core of Formula One. I think Silverstone... Uh, is huge with the fans, gets hundreds of thousands of people. And, uh, you know, I was confident it was going to uh, come together. These things, uh, when they come up for renewal, there's always a bit of a negotiation, but I think it's a great announcement, and it's exactly uh, where we need to be racing in England. We know next season there is going to be a, a new Grand Prix at Vietnam, the returning Grand Prix in the Netherlands as well. The calendar is, is very congested. How do you see the calendar maybe expanding, keeping it the 20 or so races that you have at the moment? What, what works for you? Um, you know, first of all, we'll make anything work uh, at the end of the day. Uh, I like where we are now, 21 Grand Prix. I, I, you know, I think it's, uh, it's a lot of travel and wear and tear on, on the team and also, you know, keeping that exclusivity our sport has, which is, uh, which is so great. That being said, if a 22nd race was in a really good market, uh, New York, uh, Miami, uh, you know, it's hard not to go to grow the sport, find new fans. And so I think the demand for more Grand Prix is there. We just need to find the right balance between exclusivity, travel, logistics. And I think we can tighten up how we move around the world. And if we do that, that might allow for another Grand Prix or two without stressing the, the system because we do, you know, do lots of, uh, lots of air miles. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.